Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Twin Stitches Designs Podcast. My name is Julie and I am the Nibber Designer behind Twin Stitches Designs. Today we are Sunday, September 27th, I think, and I am coming to you again, which is, I mean, I came to you guys last week. This is rare. <laughs> Um, we were just outside with the girls and I thought I would come in and record a podcast for you guys because I had a little bit of time. Um, this one, it won't be too, too long. I'm just going to be showing you guys everything that I'm working on, uh, the progress that I made on some of the projects I've shown you. We're just going to be going through that. So you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Julianne Knitter, and I will link everything I talk about down below this video. If you would like to see, um, right now I do have a sale on my shop. If you use the coupon code FALL, F-A-L-L, a link would appear, um, you can have 40% off everything in my shop until October 2nd. So definitely go. Um, I won't be having a Black Friday sale this year, so this is my sale. So if you've been eyeing any patterns, definitely go there. The only thing that will not be on sale is the Coffeehouse Sock Club 2. Um, because it's still running and that's not really fair to people who purchased it as a pre-order. So except for that, everything is on sale. So definitely go. Um, I will link Ravelry down below and you can go purchase any of the patterns so that you, if you've had your eye on, like I said, this is the sale, 40% off. Um, stock up because I won't be having another one. I don't, don't even think I'm going to be having another one this year. So this is it. Enjoy and I hope that you guys uh, celebrate. I decided to have this sale because October is a very special month. It will be marking my two year um, designing anniversary and also me and my husband's birthday. So October has always been a special month in my home and just also the designing kind of brought in there. It just makes it even more perfect. So I thought why not have a sale on the countdown to October. Okay, you guys. First up is a pattern that dropped uh, on Friday. So this one is my Mountain mountain Peak Socks. I knit this out of Knit Picks and I gave away two sock sets. So this one is Knit of the Sunset in the mini uh, Stroll Tonal Mini Packs. Um, I absolutely love this one. So there's two different variations in the pattern. Let me pull up the second one. So this one is also in the uh, Fields Fields Fudge Something Fields I know it. That's the worst part is I know it. I'm gonna put it right here. All right, so you can have two versions in the pattern. So one is you only use mini skeins, and then this one um, I wrote it up as that you would knit a main color in between all of your stripes. So you see that I held eucalyptus, which is like this beautiful light green and I put mini skeins throughout and then this version I just used mini skeins so you can get a really nice um this sock I got it out of the um one pack of the stroll knit pick stroll mini packs which is retails for twenty dollars so awesome you, know, you even have sometimes depending on the foot size a little bit left over so you can purchase this pattern it is included in the sale so that released on Friday if you um weren't aware of anything, just make sure that you are signed up for my newsletter because I do send out um, any coupon codes and things like that. So if you don't want to miss out on any releases, definitely go sign up. All right, you guys, we're just going to dive right in. Also, wine, because why not? And I got a few comments that you guys absolutely loved it. So I'm going to try to make this a regular that we are drinking wine on the podcast. So it'll be kind of like a drink with Julie. Let's all be honest, I'm a mom with two crazy kids. Any excuse I have to shut myself away in a room and drink wine with you guys, I will take it. All right, first up, um, I do not have any finished objects. I just have a lot of whips, or not a lot of whips. I've worked on my sweater a lot. Where are you, sweater? Okay, right up here. The last time I spoke to you guys, I was a few inches on the body. I have now finished the body and I am on the ribbing of the sleeve. So this one, I, I'm going to pull it up here. I finished the body and like I said, I am working on the sleeve and I'm on the ribbing right now. Now the body does seem a little short. Um, it's because the yoke is so long that it actually goes into it and it kind of creates like a swancho effect. So it's like a half sweater-ish, half swancho which I'm thinking somebody um, somebody commented because um, I asked for like names, Swanchino, like a Swancho, Poncho. I thought that was like so stinking cute. I'm like, um, okay, I think Swanchino. 
I'm thinking. What do you think? Do you like that name? Let me know below. So yeah, so I finished the body and I'm on the ribbing. So I'm hoping to have the ribbing done tonight and pass, uh, bind that off. I'm knitting this out of um, Erin Coast to Coast Yarns. The main color is Rust in her DK weight base. And this one is Impression Glass and then Cabernet, which is so appropriate. And I absolutely love this sweater. And thank you to everybody who commented um, on my post on my sweater. Absolutely love it. So the test knit call is not out yet. Um, I'm going to be sending it this week to my tech editor. And then hopefully within a week or two, then have the test knit call out and about. But yes, absolutely love it. Um, I love how it's knitting up, and like I said, it's gonna have like some super long rib sleeves, like four inches, four to five inches long. It's gonna be like really cool, and I love it. I love how the design is going. I love the fit of it, everything. So it's it's exactly what I envisioned. So I'm really happy with it. I'm knitting this on uh, right now. I'm knitting this on my new um, Knit Picks needles. I got a new interchangeable needle set in the mail and I absolutely love my um, nickel plated and then I saw these and I'm like, ooh, I like these. They're all color coded. And I want to say that this is the prism. Let me double check because I don't want to tell you guys something and it's not. So this is time if you have a drink, well you can take a nice little drink. Yes, the Prism Aluminum Options Interchangeable Circular Needle Set from Knit Picks. I'll link these down below as well as the Nickel Plated. They're my top two needles. Um, absolutely love them. So I'm knitting this on a US 6 and then the body was on a US 8. So awesome for DK weight. Really knits up super fast. Love it. So yeah, like I said, the ribbing on this sleeve is going to be done hopefully tonight. I did the math earlier today. And I'm hoping to send it to my tech editor this week, and then hopefully in another about two-ish weeks, um, if not sooner, the test call will go out to everybody. So I'm going to be looking for test centers for this. Um, there will be 10 sizes. And uh, yeah, so if you are interested, definitely sign up to my earburn list, um, my email list, and you will get notified of this testnet call or um, put a notification when I post on Instagram because I'm going to be posting there too for the testnet call on this sweater. The only thing that I do ask if you are ever interested in test knitting is um, especially for this sweater I'm going to be asking that there's no modifications made. This is meant to fit like a swancho ish slash sweater so the yoke is very very long. Sometimes I get comments or things where people want to switch um, and they're saying like it doesn't fit correctly or like things like that but this one is meant to be a long yoke. Um, so that is the design of it. It's meant to kind of be baggy, but then at the same time you have these long sleeves. So they're really, really comfortable. Like I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like on. It is amazing and I love it so much. So yeah, so I'm just wanting to make sure that it fits everybody correctly. So that's why I asked that there's no modifications in the yoke. Um, because I mean, who wants to mess up all this color work? It looks amazing. I'm so happy. I love it. So yeah. I was excited to share that with you guys. So tonight, hoping to watch another kind of cute Hallmarky movie with my husband and knit on this sleeve. That's what we've been doing the last two, three nights. It's like these cute little Hallmark, Hallmark movies and I'm totally for it and I love it. Um, so yeah, so I'm knitting on this sleeve. Yeah, this is just a cute, fun little stitch marker. Not really sure where I got it. Uh, years and years ago so I have this in my fringe supply co bag which technically doesn't really fit it's kind of just like plopped on now because I'm you know knitting it all the time so that was the bulk of my knitting this week because I'm trying to get that done if I can get one sleeve done then I have the math and everything completed I can send it off to my tech editor that's really I, re I really wanted to make sure that I tried it on every step of the way I double, triple guessed myself on the lengths and this and that. So I want to make sure that it's perfect before I send it off to her. Um, and then I can estimate yardage and all those types of details. So that was my goal by the end of this weekend was to finish uh, the body, the sleeve. So I'm really, really happy with that. All right. Next up is something that you guys have already seen. My little children's sweater. I think I knit two rows on it. That is it. So I'm going to show it off again, but really, you guys, I didn't make any. I knit like two, three rows. So that's it. This one is going to be um, the mini version of my autumn tweed pullover that is currently in test knitting. This is knit out of Knit Pick City Tweed DK. This one is in Bad Blood 
snow shoe and obsidian i was trying to think obsidian you know a little fluff um absolutely love this like i said this one is on my nickel plated of knit picks and i'm knitting this on a us six it is going to be approximately like the same yoke but it's going to be mini virgins it will be uh, zero to six months all the way to eight to ten years old so this one again is going to be uh for a test knit call in the next coming weeks i need to finish it first because that would be helpful right um but the pattern's already written up and everything i just need to knit up the sample which sh shouldn't take too long once this sweater is off my needles this is just gonna fly because i mean it's a fraction of the size. I'm knitting the two to four year old size for the girls and I'm gonna be knitting two versions of this, obviously because I have two twins. Um, yeah, so really, really excited for this and I'm hoping again that um, it'll be up. I just have this in one of my bags that I got from a fiber share partner years ago and I absolutely love it. So I thought it was a really cute bag for it. Now in between the sweater, because the sweater is getting pretty big, I decided to cast on, um, a dishcloth because I just find it's great and I am so jealous of Kay of the crazy sock lady who is knitting them up like a storm which by the way I forgot to mention at the beginning we have we are co-hosting the stash busters cow which is a year-long knit along um, and you can enter in my rivalry group as well as hers everything is linked always down below she created, if you are not aware of this knit along, she created an amazing YouTube video that I will link below. It de details everything. It's just using your stash before, if you purchased it before January 1st, 2020. And we're just trying to knit through our stash and have fun with so it. So I decided to cast on um, whenever I'm with the girls and just all around and we, sometimes we take drives and things like that. So I just wanted to cast on a super simple dishcloth. Sorry, gotta take a sip. So this one is Knit Picks Dishy and is in the Swan colorway. And like I said, I just knitting them on a US 7. Um, this is Addie's that I've had um, for years that I kind of keep always for dishcloths and is just a um, 16 inch circular needle. So yeah, super simple. I am knitting grandma's favorite, but no holes. So instead um, I just do a knit front and back instead of the yarn over. So I'm going to be knitting them just very plain and simple. And yeah, so it's really, I mean, there's nothing, not, nothing more to it. And I'm holding it in Sherry um, of Daisy Girl & Co. Her bag that she gifted me. So I'm going to be knitting some up in this. And then I also love the silver dishy twist. Absolutely love it. So I think these, I mean, come on. I don't think I can give this set away. I think I want to make myself a nice set for Christmas. For myself, yes. Yes. <laughs> because I want to knit a few people and then I want to like package them all nicely so I want some for myself too um because we we use them all the time and I think they'd be great for around the house I do want some as gifts so this cubby right up here well actually starting at the pink one this is all dishy so there's dishy twist dishy multi and dishy solid and dishy cones and then that's my Stephen West it's gonna be shell I need to skip I need to scan it up I want to say that the Stephen West is starting October 9th, which will be the first clue. I'm really excited. So I th I'm still thinking of joining in. But yeah, so that is all I've been working on really. Um, not doing too, too much. All of my focus is on that sweater and I'm hoping to finish it. So in between things, if we're just doing things that are really fast, I just bring this around with the girls. If I'm going outside, I don't really want to haul that big sweater. It's at a size right now where it's a little bit more difficult to bring. And my baby sweater is at a point where it's in the color work. So that's hard to bring around because then I'm looking at a chart and trying to take care of the girls. So that is going to be once that sweater is done, that is going to be off the needles and then just kind of all of that. So Amanda, who is one of my incredible test knitters who's test knit a bunch for me, she also designs um, knitting and crochet patterns. And she had a design that she was wanting people to test knit and I looked at it and messaged her like immediately thinking okay I need to knit this um please I've not test knit in a few years but I used to love test knitting before I became a designer I love test knitting patterns for people so I it is in bulky weight and I received actually bulky weight this week from knit picks if you haven't checked out my haul video definitely go um I will link it below but this is what I'm thinking. I don't know. Um, so I have Swish Bulky and Cobblestone Heather. 
And then I have these, which I've been wanting to knit with Big O for a while. It's a beautiful cabled hat. It kind of looks like a honeycomb texture. Just beautiful. So I'm thinking Big O. Oh my God. It is so ridiculously soft. Um, but I don't know the color. So I'm thinking this is Aurora Heather, Dove Heather. It has to be Cobblestone Heather. Yep, Cobblestone Heather. So she knit it, I want to say, in like something like this, which I think will absolutely be perfect. But I'm debating a beautiful hat in this Aurora Heather. But then I love a good classic gray because it goes with everything. So I don't know, but I'm scanning it up tonight and then I'm going to be casting it on tomorrow. Um, bulky weight hat should take me about two days to knit, hopefully. Um, I want to say it's due this Friday, which I have plenty of time, plenty of time. Yeah, really, really love this. So I'm going to be casting one on. I'm not sure. I really love this green. But I like the other ones. Oh, this needs to be the screenshot for the episode. Which one? Vote below. I need your help. I would like any of them. I've been dying. I want to design a sweater out of Big O. So I kind of want to knit up a hat first to try it out. Um... So I think a hat will be perfect. And I saw that she wanted bulky weight and I was like, oh my God, perfect. I finally have bulky weight in my stash. So yes, this is going to be on my needles very, very soon. Hopefully tomorrow. Okay, you guys, that is it for the knitting. I just wanted to come to you guys very, very quickly. Um, I'm hearing my girls starting to get a little cranky. So I'm going to go help out my husband. Um, but I always want to come and check in with you guys. I come as often as I can. And this week, um, yeah, nothing's really big has been happening. Yesterday we went apple picking with the girls, which was so much fun. I went down home with my parents and it was really, really nice. So we did that yesterday. And like I said, the only big thing happening is my fall sale. So definitely take advantage of that. 40% off. Use F-A-L-L at checkout on Ravelry and every single one of my patterns, except for the Coffee House Hot Club too, is on sale. So you guys, happy knitting. I am so happy to be joining you guys. And a big cheers to everyone and hope that you guys have an amazing day, morning, night, wherever you are. Always happy knitting. Bye, guys.